Yo, what's good, y'all? So we're back, yo. And I have some sort of good news. I don't quite know how great the news is. We won't know until uh, November. But uh, come to find out, Maximum Football is dropping an early access for PC in November. Apparently, they've made a lot of tweaks. Uh, they use the open beta, which I was a part of, uh, to make a lot of tweaks to the gameplay. Um, a lot of customization tweaks just adding on layers onto the game i think that anybody that is a fan of just sports games in general is excited about this not because it's the perfect game not because it's it's everything our hopes and dreams and our imagination could could fathom but because it's another option i think that by november everybody's gonna be tired of madden everybody's gonna be tired of ncaa football and that's okay that's what usually happens around the gaming cycle especially when you're dealing with ea sports there's a lot of copy and paste there's a lot of just hiding our hiding flaws behind other flaws and behind other walls of flaws the flaws keep walling up so it's good that maximum football is taking the initiative and you know coming forward with an early access letting us get our hands on the full game or or i guess the the latest build of the game and um letting us run through that thing man we need to see what the franchise mode is looking like we need to see what the player models are looking like we need to see what these animations are looking like you guys already know how important animations are to these games do they have enough of them that's the question um I'm excited, man. I also saw a uh, high school varsity football game coming out, and it looks good. I mean, the, the mechanics as far as player movement and the realism uh, of how things are, are flowing on that game look good. I'm excited about both. Maximum football has been, I guess, in the background of the, the sports gaming for a while. It's never really hit the mark that you know we all hoped. We all just hope for some kind of competition for EA Sports. We all just hope for some kind of company or studio that can make a game where we feel immersed enough to play it instead of Madden, instead of NCAA football, at least to give us a break. You know, there's going to be those hardcore Madden guys, NCAA football, you know, they're not going to leave regardless. They're going to downplay uh, maximum football at every turn. But any true gamer wants there to be multiple options. There should be options for gamers in every genre. There's options for gamers in every other genre except for the major sports. It, it makes no sense. My mind has never grasped it, how it got to this point in every sport. Now, you want to say football, you know, Madden has an NFL license, fine, whatever. Exclusive, whatever. How is there no other games in hockey, in baseball, you know, in basketball? There's literally no, no, there's one company doing it and then everybody else has to sit down and move out, out the way. I never understood it. I grew up in an era, I'll continue to say this, I grew up in an era where there were multiple games. Madden, Game Day, Game Breaker, Blitz, uh, freaking Doug Flutie had a game, Brick Favre Quarterback Club. There were options. In case you like this particular style of play, you can go play this game. Now we're down to, we're gonna do what we do. We're EA Sports, we have the exclusive license. We're gonna do what we do. And you're just gonna like it. You, you have no options, no choices. We can do whatever we want year to year, and you're gonna have to buy it if you wanna play football on a video game. If you wanna live vicariously in this sport, you have to play our game. I hate it here, guys. This is not how it is. I hate it for the generation who's growing up right now thinking, oh, this is just how it is. This is just how it is. We can't have more than one game. We have to pray that Madden gets it together. Bro, it hasn't always been like this, man. It hasn't always been like this. So I'm encouraging maximum uh studios i'm encouraging maximum entertainment sorry uh to keep pressing forward with this game man hopefully some better some bigger investors uh you know lock in with them and able to get more funding to do more things to scan more more player models to have more animations do more mocap hey i would even look into what 2k is doing with pro play mocap and footage bro so, these companies need to go find out what they're doing with that because 2k has done a great job at upgrading their mocap, upgrading the way their animations look in comparison to the real life counterparts. That's a that's a testament to how they've continued to push the envelope forward. Obviously they're pushing the envelope forward with transactions and microtransactions, but at the same time, they are pushing the movement of motion capture forward and we're able to see gameplay 
inc uh, gameplay improve more and more as the years go on not saying park or rec but the actual game itself uh just looks better as, as the years go on even if they add in mistakes or they make mistakes with uh, execution uh you know they still do a good job at pushing forward so hopefully maximum football can do the same thing um big fourth quarter this year for sports games let's see who's gonna survive i still have to see what's going on with wwe 2k 25 i guess it'll be i, I can see this being a make or break year for that i know that's been said a whole bunch of times in the last few years for them um this year to me was a make or break for madden they still have horrible ratings uh horrible Ooh, happens scores. with that um 2k is up and rolling undisputed's coming out uh in, in a damn near month. I woke up feeling good. Let's take a look at it right now. Hello and welcome back to Maximum Football. In June, we gave you a preview of Maximum Football with our beta, and the reception was amazing. We're committed to making this game with you because our community is part of our team. Your feedback has been crucial in making Maximum Football the best simulation football game possible. We took all the positivity and the criticism on board, and we've worked tirelessly to address as much as we can. Some of the big improvements can be seen here in a side-by-side -side comparison to our original NextFest build. Now, for the big news you've all been waiting for. Maximum Football will be available on Steam Early Access starting November 7th. So, hey, it's a great time to be a gamer, great time to be a sports gamer. There's other uh, great games that are coming out outside of sports. I just want to, you know, stay true to the topic. And, um, yeah, let's see what I, I heard. There's going to be a deep dive on this maximum football early access. So, you know, be looking forward to a, uh, a video about that. I'll be covering that, too. I'm going to make sure I stay with this maximum football um, in influencer boxing game coming out soon. Um, hopefully I have some information or some footage on that. I think that that's going to be a good movement. I think that there's plenty of space in the sports gaming for there to be just an overflow of different games. Uh, Overhand Interactive has their gaming development. It's looking good. They just dropped an update yesterday on some uh, improvements they're making. So yeah, stay encouraged guys. If you're out there and you're developing a game, just let me know how I can support bro because this is what we need. This is what we have to have bro. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the follow. If you like this content, I'll be back with more. Peace.